database system. And so, uh, Rich, I'm going to ask you this and Ed, Ed as well. When we speak about resilience, we mean the ability of a system to continue functioning or to, ref or to return to functioning when faced with adversity or disruptions. So what actions can we as, a, as an industry take to ensure the continued safety resiliency of the system? Oh, thank you. Unfortunately, we have a staffing issue right now as air traffic controllers. We are uh, 1,200 certified professional controllers less now than we were 10 years ago. When you have less eyes, when you have less positions open, that demands a reduction of efficiency to contest the safety risks that you're introduced. Uh, it's time for us to accurately and adequately staff the facilities so we can have that resiliency, we can keep the efficiencies, we can continue to provide the safest services to the users in this industry. Fortunately, Billy and, and Tim, we have a, uh, a, a product in place right now that can fix that permanent fix to the pendulum of staffing issues in, in the facilities. Uh, I'm proud to say that on, on a day-to-day -day basis, we provide industry the safest national airspace system. We can do that today. But with delivering, and we're on the cusp of delivering a new staffing model with new staffing numbers at the facility and a controlled workforce plan that transparently, transparently reports what we need. We deliver that and we can deliver all of the resiliency, all the efficiency, all the redundancy, and all the safety and margins that industry deserves. Thanks, Rich. Ed? Yeah, a remarkably resilient uh, 